Hi everyone, September 29, 2018. I want to thank my subscriber for reminding me of this meeting that took place in the White House on 5G. Yes, Trump and his administration is all in on 5G. Bring it on, private sector. Bring it on. Oh boy. Still getting comments from Trump supporters. I actually get comments from Trump supporters who write, well, Trump probably doesn't know anything about the, the dangers associated with 5G. Boy, you know, I've said it before, I'll say it again, people really need to reevaluate those beliefs and also keep in mind that confirmation bias that operates in the human brain. You know, when we want to believe something, we will look for information that confirms a belief, whether or not it's true or false. We just want it confirmed. When we get information that is not confirming our belief, we reject it any way we can. And when that happens, you know that you're not about the truth. You ain't there yet. You're about some guy supporting some guy. Maybe you want to support that guy because, well, he's going to fix it so you don't have to do anything. Uh, yeah, it's still so stuck in the matrix that, you know, I'm sorry. Uh, it's not about personality. It is about principle. And this guy is rolling out something that is so incredibly dangerous. And he seems to not care about the health risks, especially to those vulnerable, like children. Okay. Trump administration is all in on 5G and wants policymakers to do what they can to unleash private investment in the next generation networks. The White House on Friday hosted a 5G summit, its first major event around 5G, and it brought together industry executives, government agency heads, lawmakers, and President Trump's advisors to discuss policies to ensure faster deployment of the next generation wireless technology. Yes, our FCC chairman, Ajit Pai, was there. Ah, a Verizon attorney lobbyist. Oh, man. Ah, you know, it, it you look at Trump's appointments up you know, I've said this before. I'm not going to do it again. Look, you believe whatever the hell you want to believe. I, you know, it's amazing to me how, you know, people can't even take a step back to really examine, examine their own self, their beliefs, and to really look objectively at everything that is taking place. You know, Trump, <laughs> who has dropped... Uh, what is he? I, he has so outdone Obama with the bombs that this guy has dropped, killing innocent people. But he's just great. He's just great. He's just wonderful. He's not like them. Carol, come on. Then, oh, I get, you know, subscribers sending me the articles that I guess started coming out on the 26th that construction of the wall has begun in El Paso, Texas. And that's going to be four miles. All right. You don't need a wall. You can use 5G. The millimeter wave that our military has been using. Uh, and I'm going to tell you that you can go to my channel and in the search 
bar, you can put in 5G, and you will come across all of the videos that I have posted on 5G. Um, in the UK, ordinary citizens are being gagged by courts to not talk about 5G and the health risks associated with 5G, like uh, cancer. Uh, we're going to see an exponential increase in skin cancer, that's for sure. Uh, because we are antennas, and guess what? We attract frequencies to our body. Um, Michigan, you got a winner. Your Senator Colbeck speaks the truth about 5G. And, of course, Trump, where is his uh, Mar-a-Lago estate? In Palm Beach. And guess what? Palm Beach is exempt from 5G wireless law. The law doesn't apply to us, which is what the mayor of Palm Beach said. The law doesn't apply to us, the rich. The law doesn't apply to Trump. PC Magazine, 5G, stupid. The stupid public will pay for jazzy meaning, ah, 5G, it's jazzy, and wow, it's so fast, and I can download even faster now. But they won't care at all about the health effects. Uh, LA, first nation, first in nation to install subway body scanners. Make no mistake, it's 5G. 5G, the ultimate in surveillance. We're already being surveilled up the wazoo, 5G will just give them high definition right smack into your home, through your clothing, your pocketbook, your briefcase, all the bags that you have. See, these 5G antennas are going to be loaded all over the place. You're going to be walking. And these frequencies, are these antennas are much lower than the cell phone antennas, those towers. You're going to be walking through these dangerous frequencies, but these frequencies also, in real time, will be able to collect all the data they need on you in real time, in your home, at your work, walking down the street. This is what you want. A 1968 frequency chart, 5G absorbs oxygen. <gasps> I can't breathe. <laughs> you know, the microwaves already have changed. You know, our own chemistry, our own composition, the, 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 the atmosphere, you load on 5G, oh, and I say load on because they're not going to be taking down the cell towers. It's just going to be additional dangerous frequencies that we're going to be saturated in. But 5G, they knew in 1968, even before, that it absorbs oxygen. Wow. Emits hydrogen cyanide. Wow. Ain't 5G, who cares? I get to download faster. Uh, militaries direct energy weapons and the new normal wildfires. 5G, the active denial system. Yes. So Trump. Trump could use 5G along the border. You wouldn't have to pay for that fence because 5G operating, well, no one is going to be crossing the border with 5G because it will burn the hell out of you. But no, we, we need a fence, right? Oh, Trump supporters, how do you not see this as a major red flag? Uh, 5G Smart Grid, great summary of the world. We are rapidly heading into a Mother Speaks Out regarding 5G cell antenna. Ah, she did research. Oh my God, the health risks, especially to my children. Children's skulls, very uh, permeable. And these frequencies do cross the blood-brain barrier and have an effect on the frequencies in that little brain.
36-year-old with cell phone radiation neck tumor against 5G cells in Santa Rosa. Investigation reveals telecom industry hid studies regarding cell phones causing tumors and genetic damage. The industry itself, telecom industry, like our former FCC chairman who worked for the industry, the revolving door that we uh, know so well, um, and the new FCC chairman both work for the industry. And even though that that's long, that is an investigation that the, the video is long and the article is very, very long, but I excerpted that article. It is highly important. So click on the video if you don't want to listen to me. The link to the Nation article is underneath that video. 5G, a direct energy weapon, will be used to control people. CBS warns cell phone risk, a cancer link, 5G safety concerns, Trump, government seizing control of 5G, Barry Trower on 5G waves, uh, is 5G operating now in your city? What 5G looks like, uh, the antenna is what they look like, Trump, 5G deployment, national security priority, do you know who Trump's uncle was? Do you know who Trump's uncle was? John Trump, the man who was selected to review Tesla's papers when he got knocked off, whacked, murdered. Who did they send in to review his papers? Donald's uncle. And John told Donald, the world is going to be a scary place considering those Tesla discoveries, the frequencies. Oh, he said that to Donald? Really? You think maybe Donald knows about 5G? <sighs> FCC Chairman 5G, we won't study it, regulate it, have standards for it. Really? Scientists say, hold off, do not roll this out, dangers associated. And the FCC chairman says, we won't study it, regulate it, have standards for it, because we're going to make billions. And that's damn important. That's what he said. Uh, interesting. The International Firefighters Association, <laughs> yeah, they had a lot to say about cell towers, radio frequencies, microwave frequencies, and an awful lot of fire stations and firefighters say, uh-uh, 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 we, we are, we're not going to have these close to us. Think frequencies bad now, 5G Dangerous, untested, ultra-high frequencies coming soon. 5G antennas installed without consent of residents and proper research. Jerry Brown did not stop 5G rollout because a lot of people were saying it was stopped. 5G is electronic warfare, documented health effects, 24-7 surveillance control. The end game is 5G and the Internet of Things. Scientific dictatorship. I have done a lot of research. So, it is very upsetting to see Trump supporters not caring at all that this guy wants it deployed fast. It's a new network, and boy, it's going to contribute $275 billion in new investment and $500 billion in economic growth, as well as potentially 3 million new jobs. However, the population is going to be so sick because of the frequencies that eventually, well, they're not going to be able to work. Oh, it doesn't matter. We've got robots.
Trump administration is focused on how to encourage private sector investment in 5G. Uh, and Pi, he has a plan. It's called 5G Fast Plan. Fast. Facilitate America's superiority in 5G technology. And the plan includes three key solutions, freeing up more spectrum, promoting wireless infrastructure, and modernizing regulations. Oh, Jesus, and here we go again. Nothing about those safety standards hmm. that we're still using, and those safety standards were, what, 1996, 97? They haven't updated those standards? Really? Since 1996 or 97? Wow. Okay. Well, a lot has changed since then, but they don't look at the safety standards. Interesting, isn't it? Still, no, no, no consideration, no discussion about the safety of 5G. Roll it out. That's your president. And you know what? It don't matter the bullshit that you hear from mainstream media about how the economy oh well did you listen I could listen to only a few minutes of Trump at the United Nations oh that's right I have Trump supporters who claim that Trump pulled us out of the United Nations so what the hell was he doing there giving his narcissistic speech about how great he is yes he, <laughs> he so glorifies himself. How can anybody trust a liar, a narcissist? Uh, it's mind-boggling to me. So no, he didn't pull us out of the United Nations. He didn't get the CIA out of, this, out of Syria. All of the bullshit that I'm hearing from other YouTubers posting videos. No, he has not. He hasn't made the economy great. It's all lies that you are listening to. I don't understand how it is that you just ignore, ignore everything that he does. It's the same old, same old. You know, different face, but same policies. Israel, lover of Israel, increased aid to Israel. He's made so much money for the military-industrial complex, Saudi Arabia. Uh, the killing in Yemen is just... But you're going to support him because, well, what was Obama's... Uh, chant. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. What's Trump's? Make America great again. Make America great again. How about make Americans free again? Um, I'll just link below. These are some more recent articles, the rollout of 5G wireless service is a massive health experiment, public health expert warns, as cell companies install 800,000 towers across the United States. Scientists warn of potential serious health effects of 5G. You can read all 230 scientists from four, 41 countries have expressed serious concerns regarding the ubiquitous and increasing exposure the National Toxicology Program well what did they say it's the world's largest study it was 25 million US dollars shows that, that these radio frequencies electromagnetic frequency fields from wireless technology showed a statistically significant increase in the incidence of brain and heart cancer in animals exposed. Hey, but humans, 
don't <laughs> you don't care unbelievable scary yes those scientists say we've got to begin to use the precautionary principle you know when human activities may lead to morally unacceptable harm that is scientifically plausible but uncertain actions shall be taken to avoid or diminish that harm uh uh roll it out now get it out get it out we have a fast plan I want it deployed as fast as possible which means making sure that all local communities have no say Ah, Congress. That's where Congress and state governors, they step in and they sign the legislation that is passed by the state legislators or Congress. Uh, that legislation saying telecommunications industry has complete power and they can do whatever the hell they want. And too bad for you. Signed. Nobody seems to give a shit. I mean, I know you guys do, but hardly anybody gives a shit, even about their own self. So if they're not caring about their own health, they sure as hell aren't going to be caring about anybody else's, even their own children. Signatories to the 5G appeal. This was the appeal to the United Nations public health officer in Austria, Belgium, Cyprus, France, Finland, Germany. The link is below. Yes, why 5G brings a dangerous new form of cell towers. I'll link below to it, to it all. 5G technology is coming. Link to heart, heart disease, diabetes, Alzheimer's, death. Hey, bring it on! Yeah, I watch these commercials. I, I There's this elderly woman, woman and I go um, to sit with her. Uh, I see these commercials and I can't believe how many commercials there are uh, related to drugs. Drugs or vaccines. Yeah. Guilting parents for not vaccinating me. Um, but the drugs. And then you listen to the side effects. Death. <laughs> but who gives a shit? I'll take it. It may work for me. 5G Wi-Fi is coming and it will kill us all and it will imprison all of us because once you get these millimeter wave frequencies going in your community, if they want to lock you in your house, they can. If they want to keep you from well, getting into that gated community, or if they want to keep you in your own neighborhood, they can. Oh, increase the level of those frequencies and boom, you got an active denial system. What the military uses. Well, I don't think anyone can say that you know, with all of this smart technology, Americans are smart. All links below.